Hey, it's Scott Hoover with Hollywood.com, and we are here at the Season 1 DVD party for Grey's Anatomy. We've got all the hot dish from all the hot docs, so we're going to take you to the red carpet stack. Before the show, you certainly had some time in the spotlight, but this is a, an entirely different thing, I imagine. Like, how different is your life now? It's insanely different, but it's also so overwhelmingly consuming, this job and, and what it entails, that I kind of don't remember what it was like before, which I find really weird, because it's only been a year. Doing a TV show that's been on a year and having an event like this, that's obviously there's something going on that's uh, strong and kind of crazy and cool. Did you have any inkling when, when this, you got involved with the show that it was going to hit as big as it did? did you, no, did you... I was just happy I had a job for four weeks and I was hoping it would go. <laughs> you know, who knew what was going to happen after that? When I started shooting, uh, they hadn't yet aired anything and I remember I saw one of the episodes screen. They used to do screenings at Friday lunch. They'd screen one episode and I was blown away. Under no circumstances. I felt like I was writing the show that I really liked. didn't have an air time or any of that stuff. So for it to come on and do so well is really exciting. What do the fans say to you when they see you on the street and or in the restaurant or on a, on a plane? What do they say to you about your They're like, I love your show. I am rooting for Meredith, but I love your show. All different things. A lot of people love George O'Malley's character. They love my relationship with Meredith. They love, want to figure out if I'm going to get back with her or not. It's their favorite show. I get that more than anything. It is my favorite show. It is my favorite show. You know, uh, to a person. And that's what's been really gratifying. They say, I love your character. Um, I love what she stands for. That's all Shonda Rhimes. Sometimes they're like, I have been there, and you go, and keep the dog too. Yeah, you get, it depends on what, what, what audience is, yeah, what, what, what the age range is of the fan. Who are you dying to have, like, a romantic scene with like who else on the show would you love to have kind of a make out scene in a room closet I was gonna be TR George yeah. I totally want Izzy and George to get together just because I think that they are so made for one another they have the kind of the same sensibility they're such good friends but the risk is that it would ruin the friendship which would be just really sad because they are really good friends no you know not really no I don't no, no, I, it doesn't matter to me got your hands full as it is busy enough with these two women every one of them is a cutie pie so I, I don't know you know with Addison she could take a twirl with all of them she's kind of a yeah kind of a cat no we're all professionals we are it's it's it, it, it is true though they say that a lot of hospital situations are like that where there's a lot of inner love between employees but uh, on our set we're there to work well we had a little bit of that in the operating room <laughs> the last season so that, that's I think that's enough I think Richard's a little mature for that right now so yeah we'll, we'll, we'll stick to the little sneak pecs and stuff like that yeah we'll be here for a while everybody will get a turn so I'm not gonna stress over it yeah so you know but I know that people want to see what's going on in Bailey's house so we'll give them a chance to see that Thank you.